barely survived. And here she is. Ready to get pissed. I'm James. <laughs> I'm James. And I'm Katie, but you already know that. And this is our week two vlog. Right, so this week we've been doing a lot of animal care, orphan care, and sign making and painting. It's been a pretty exhausting week because it's gone up in temperature to what is it now? I think it was 35 the other day. Yep, yeah, so it's fun working like eight hours a day and that, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so first thing we did was animal care. We do that most days. What is that, James? Uh, animal care is chopping vegetables and potatoes and cassava, which is and like... Fruit. Well, how would you describe cassava? It's a root of some sort. It's but like a potato, but not quite. Yes, um, but it is pretty gross because we forgot to use gloves for a whole two weeks because we were a bit dopey like that. So it's all of it's a bit rotting because the animals like to pick maggots out of it. So it's, yeah, it's, it's an interesting time. I, I enjoy it. It's a bit weird. I enjoy chopping the, chopping the vegetables because yeah. I find it quite therapeutic. We have to chop them with machetes with a bit... No, I like it. It's fun. It's fun, but you like... You're just not very good with the machete. Me. I'm good with it. You're okay. Anyway, and then we did orphan care, which is basically looking... Oh, there's not many orphans in right now. But it's just general disinfecting and cleaning everything, and <coughs> we, had <coughs> we had to look after. Or well, every Friday, you have to clean the the like antelopes, but smaller. Jukers. Them. We had to clean those, but because what they do here, they don't like the animals recognizing people's faces because they want to release them. They have a really like high successful release rate here, and a high survival rate, and that's because the animals don't really know what humans are. So you have to wear like full surgery mask, full like hat, um, scrubs, all these things and everyone who goes near the animals has to wear that so the animals constantly see something like that mm. and then they don't actually recognise what a human looks like. And so we did, yeah we do that and I like orphan care because there's a tick list so you know what you have to do. 
animal cares a bit like you know you always have to chop food and then you know you have to um, give it and feed the animals but then like it really depends on the day of how many enclosures you clean so sometimes mm. you can be doing like 10 and that's it's good I, I prefer good I prefer it's orphan care I like orphan care I, I, I like, like orphan, orphan care because anyway. I'm, not, I'm not very good at washing clothes no oh yeah so. you have to here when you're washing clothes you have to um have like a bucket system so it's like one with detergent one with to rinse it one with bleach one to rinse it and then yeah it's really like hand washing there's no yeah. such thing as washing machines here I haven't got great hand to eye coordination, so it doesn't go very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing we did was um, <laughs> painting signs. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone in here. Um, was painting signs. So, what we have to do is a lot of the signs around here are like need to be cleaned, like the animal enclosure signs, because it's, it's a sanctuary, so people will come around and look at the animals. So um, we had to paint a bunch of new signs, which means we had to chop up all the wood, then sand it down, then varnish it, then paint it. But I like that, that's my favourite job actually. It's very, I find it very therapeutic, but you get covered in varnish. And I, half my leg is stained with varnish because I spilled it all over it and it won't come off. So, yeah. I quite like that job because you just, all you have to do is sit down for three hours. Yeah, know, no, but you paint and it's just calming and you can listen to music. Yeah, it's, it's really chilled. It's not like animal big care, bug. where you... What bug? Okay, so our favourite tasks we've been doing this week and a bit last week is outreach. Outreach is basically where you go to different villages and towns across the long way and you just volunteer. So we went to, it was, it was a really, really small school. They'd only been going for, what, five years? They've been in school? Yeah, I think so. Um, and there must have been, what, like 50 kids in the class we were teaching? Mm. Um, so we, we presented to them uh, wildlife <coughs> conservation, so we were teaching them definitions of uh, conservation and and, and, and then like threats to wildlife. Yeah, and just what they can do to help, how they can basically take part to make, just yeah. making sure that they don't... And, it was and, it's, they and don't. most of the kids have spoke really, really good English, I yeah. noticed. Yeah, well the school, like I was reading one of the rules of the school and by 2018 you're not allowed to attend the school unless you speak Eng like fluent English as well. So you have to be bilingual with Chichua and English. Mm. And all this, everyone speaks in English, but it's like obviously it's broken English, but they still have to speak in English. And then that was really cool. And then after that, um, we went outside and played games and they played their version of um, Marco Polo. Yeah. So, so one person's really blindfolded cute. and you've got to find the other person. It's called the Bat... What are they called? Bat, bat, bat and Moth? Bat and Moth. And so that, that was really good to watch. It was really cute. And, and then... then do you want to go? Yeah, and then we went to a school two days ago. Yeah, and that was like an all girls were, school. It was all girls school, but there were like thousands of students. We didn't expect it. It was and massive compared to the other one. We drove in, and they were like mobbing the car and running after us, and they were just so excited to see us, and they were just tugging us and all jumping all over us and like screaming. It was so cool because they were just so enthusiastic to um, meet us, which was really nice. And then it, it was absolutely, over. it was absolutely brilliant, and. Uh, we, yeah. didn't, we didn't present um, to that class, no. but afterwards we went outside and with the class we were presenting to and like a bunch of other of the children there, mm. we played a massive game of British Bulldog. So like introduced that game to them and they loved it. Yeah, it was really and fun. Well, I didn't, I sat in the corner because I wasn't feeling well, but I didn't think they were They didn't want to, we didn't, they didn't <coughs> want us to join in anyway. Yeah, no, I'd probably um, bring the team down, but I sat in the corner and then about a hundred people just came up and sat with me mm. and they were just trying to, I don't know, it was really fun though, like, it was just really interesting. It was so much fun. So, <laughs> so we really enjoyed um, the outreach um, to the local schools yeah. and we were supposed to be doing it this afternoon but there's a by-election at the school so we can't go. So we are going somewhere but we didn't catch the name of it so we're just going to get in a car and see where yeah, it Yeah, we'll, we'll see where we go. In other exciting news, it was James's birthday on Saturday. He's 22 now. Okay, there is a young voice. Um, he's 22. So we decided. <laughs> oh, so well, we didn't decide. His very kind dad <laughs> decided for us. <laughs> decided for us and booked us a hotel. A hotel. A hotel room for <laughs> the night, which is really nice because we were like, one thing that we've already spoken about but it's just so it's just 
not an issue, but it's such a thing here, is constantly being dirty mm. and just feeling like filthy. <laughs> so, um, a filthy. Filthy. So, um, so being able to go stay in a hotel for a night was incredible because we could just relax by the pool. To be honest, we were uploading, so this is day uploading the last video. <laughs> but, um, like, it was just nice being able to chill, being clean. And then <coughs> I was really looking forward to the super long, super long, super relaxing shower because it, it was a really big shower. <laughs> yeah, it sounds bad. But I was really looking forward to having a shower because normally showers here, you can only get four minute showers and the water here has a very rust like it is rust it's yeah, basically it tastes the like water rust water here is orange so um when you shower you have a layer of like orangey rust on you and my hair is just dry and everything's just yeah but so i was really really looking forward to having my shower in this hotel Mm -hmm. Sorry, and then what happened it. was then, Katie flooded the whole shower room and the, and the kitchen below. I didn't mean to. What happened was <laughs> what happened was I turned on the shower and it was warming up and then suddenly it went like bleh and it went crazy and <laughs> I couldn't stop it in time and because it was so powerful because like a screw or something was loose. So it was just super high pressure and I couldn't stop it in time. So I just, I just started screaming and um, basically what happened is it didn't, because the water was so powerful, it didn't have time to drain. So it just literally went everywhere, overflowed. It's just on, only on for like 30 seconds. It flooded the bathroom. That's what she says. It was, you heard it was only on for 30 seconds. You were literally on the other side of the floor. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. You were lit you knew it was only thirty seconds. Anyway, um so the entire bathroom flooded and then the water because it was like a two floor hotel room, it was all retro, it was really cool. And then the water went right through the floor to the kitchen. <laughs> so James had to go get help. So the big truck okay, anyway, so yeah. I accidentally flooded a hotel room but I think it happened before because there was like four people who just came in super quick and cleaned it up so and they fixed the shower so I don't think it was my fault mm. yeah you can keep believing that anyway we had a really nice time um we had a massage we had a massage that was nice mm. and <laughs> we, <laughs> we blew relaxed, up our jet we relaxed by again. the pool <laughs> yeah um we relaxed by the pool. I, I was drinking these drinks all weekend and they were really, really good. And I thought, because they were on the cocktails list, I thought they had alcohol in. I I didn't feel anything, but I was like, oh, these are really nice. You can't even taste the alcohol. And then it turns out the entire weekend I was drinking an alcoholic cocktail and she didn't mm -hmm. realise. So that was a bit, a bit sad for me. Um, yeah, she's an alcoholic, see. I'm so feeble. Um, I'm not. It's just rude. Um, okay. So another challenge of staying here, not it's a bad thing, it just makes it interesting, is there are a lot of power cuts. Uh, like there are a lot, a lot of power cuts. Last night there was two. So it was super stormy yesterday and the power went out at four, two? Two o'clock? Mm. Yeah, about that. <coughs> and um, it was out until six, which sucked because Joseph was making our favourite meal, stuffed bread, which tastes like pizza, and it was cooking, and then it just deflated because <laughs> the power went out. So we just had to have like tomatoes last night or something, tomato stew, which is fine. And the power is out, so everyone was in bed by like five thirty-six. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and then we had to have showers with, oh, I had my shower with my head torch on, and just as I got out of the shower, the power came back on. So I- For about 10 minutes. No, I- mm. uh, So next week, we are off to Lake Malawi. Cape McClear. Yes, Cape McClear on Lake Malawi. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really looking forward to that. We're hiring <coughs> a car, um, and we're going with what, four other volunteers? I think so, here? yeah. We're hiring That'd be really, cars. really awesome. James and is driving. I'm driving one of the cars, yeah. 
Uh, I think it's going to be dri I think I'm going to be driving an automatic as well, and that's the first time I've driven one in a while, so that will be interesting. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do. We're staying in another hut, I think. We're staying in a what's it called? Family lodge. Family lodge, another hut kind of thing. Is there a pool there? Yes, there there's is. There's a pool. Yeah, there so is. So we'll pool. be able to cool down. And, and there's also a really big lake. Yeah. And so we're going to do some snorkeling mm -hmm. and we're going to do um, what a catamaran sunset cruise. Mm -hmm. It's all very so that'd be really, really here, awesome. which is nice. And apparently the water's crystal clear, so that would be really interesting. But one thing is, if you swim in the water, you have to take a pill six weeks later <laughs> to kill the parasite that's growing inside you from the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so that's going to be interesting. Apparently everyone does it. Yeah. So and apparently, apparently you can't feel the parasite as well. So, <laughs> so we're going to give it a go because we don't really want to be the only ones that are not in the water. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry the um, quality is a bit different this week. I'm sorry. There's probably a lot of background noise because we're filming next to the main road. It's not <laughs> ideal. And I'm really sorry, but I promise we're going to try and like up it each week. It's just, yeah, I'm, I've been sick, so I'm sorry I'm acting like a slug. James is just James, but, <laughs> but hopefully... I'm not the only one who's sluggish, though. This is like I generally... Yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe and share if you feel, if you would like to, etc, etc. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And see you next week. Mm -hmm.